But we begin tonight with the latest news on Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews' exit strategy. The Premier has announced Stage 4 lockdown will be extended by a fortnight from the 28th of September if and only if cases in metropolitan Melbourne have dropped to between 30 to 50 a day, some workplaces will reopen along with childcare. From the 26th of October, if there are less than five new cases a day, and that's not a situation even New South Wales is in on many days, the curfew will no longer apply and there will be no restrictions on reasons to leave the house. Only then would public gatherings be increased to 10 for people outdoors, and only then would hospitality recommence. And then it's only from the 23rd of November when all retail will be open and visitors at home can be up to 20 people. Here's the Premier making this announcement at midday. I apologise for the circumstances we find ourselves in. I apologise for the, for the reality that we find ourselves in. But uh, we can't change that. We can't simply wish that uh, away. What Daniel Andrews announced today is not a roadmap out of lockdown as everyone had hoped. He announced a roadmap deeper into lockdown. These extended restrictions are among the toughest in the world. It's another seven weeks before Melburnians will be able to leave the house without a reason, before retail stores will be open, before restaurants can have up to 50 customers. And as I said, that's only if there are less than five new cases of COVID-19 a day. That is a situation New South Wales is yet to be in. And yet the New South Wales economy is up and running, cafes and restaurants open, life goes on. The Premier was unable to say today if school children between years three and years 10 at school will even be able to return to school at all this year. There's no end in sight for these parents. And given it's still taking up to five days for COVID-19 test results to return, the Premier is putting harsh restrictions on the Victorian population while failing to get his own government's control of the infection in order. This is a disaster of his government's own making and Melburnians are paying the price. Jobs, family, stress, unemployment, not to mention the severe mental health toll. AI Group CEO Innes Wilcox says the Premier ignored advice from businesses about how to safely reopen the economy. Have a listen. This is no roadmap out. This is just a document of despair. There's no hope. There's no optimism here. There's no clarity either for business. There's so many caveats in what the Premier announced today around if, but, maybe, perhaps, that he may as well have just saved his breath because this is no roadmap out for Victorian business. It's just absolutely deepened the sense of despair and hopelessness.